Hi, do you need to download videos from Facebook? Let's take a look at a website called clipconverter.cc. To use it, we first need to get the, a link to the, the clip we want to grab. Now, there are some clips that this doesn't work for, but here we've got a, a compilation clip from the in-betweeners. What we do is we just go on, go to the clip, right click, I'm using uh, Firefox here, it might differ, might differ from for your browser, show URL, we need to select the entire URL and copy it, copy, I've already opened up uh, Clip Converter on, on another tab and the URL is a bit strange so it's Clip Converter dot cc not dot com uh, the link we just grabbed we paste this into here and you'll notice it's kind of a very nondescript link it's um, it's not a human friendly link once we've done that we just press continue now it's giving us a lot of information about different types of uh, files that it's found. Um, let's select this one here. This is saying that it's a, a 1080 by 1080 dash videos, 18 megabyte. That's right. We can change the, the title here of the clip if we want to. I often give a, a date to a clip if I've downloaded it from somewhere. Um, the 19th today. Uh, we might have to take those commas out. Uh, some characters, it doesn't allow in file names, that's all. Once we're happy with our file name, we don't need to touch anything here. We just want to use the default conversion. Click Start. And it depends on how busy the system is, it comes up with how or determines how long this is going to take. So that was pretty quick though, wasn't it? Now we finally get to download the file. Now there probably will be pop-ups. I'm using a pop-up blocker in this browser. Um, but here we go. So we've got the file. We're saying, okay, download for me, thank you. Okay, it's saying it's completed. Let's watch it. Uh, it seems we've picked a version that doesn't have an audio track in it. Now that's possible because um, some streaming formats for video uh, aren't interleaved with, in other words, they don't have the audio track and the video track stored in the one file. So we'll, we'll go back and do it again. We'll just click uh, convert another video. That link should still be in the clipboard, so we just paste it again. Uh, it's giving us this one here, it's like a dash. Mm. There you go, down the bottom it's got an audio only dash audio. So we've got video, there's a video track, so that's an audio track separate. So we'll try the top one. Hit start. Press download. Now I think on the download button there's actually pop-ups normally, but we've circumvented that with by having a pop-up blocker installed on uh, in Firefox here. Okie dokie. So, let's try this one. Thanks, Phil. Oh. Now, sorry. Thanks, that, Phil. Phil? Oh, it's just because the dance is outside of school time, so I assumed. Well, you assumed wrong, Will. <laughs> Very wrong. 
Okay, that's a, the Inbetweens clip. Uh, it's a great series if you've never seen it before. It's uh, There you go. That's how you can download clips from uh, Facebook. The same principle works for uh, for YouTube too, by the way. You just get your YouTube URL and then paste it into, into here and hit continue. Um, as I said before though, it won't download things that are known to be copyrighted. So if the, if the clip you give it is like a film clip or, you know, it's a, a CD or something like that that's been uploaded and uh, it's known to be a music thing it's, it's protected and it won't let you just grab those generally but it's an easy way to grab a clip if you haven't if you're not at um, not in your, in your normal computer and you haven't got a, a download or installed in your, your browser thanks for watching catch you later